Man who streaked through Perth owed to between Australia and England facing fine, possible jail time. Man who streaked through Perth owed to between Australia and England facing fine, possible jail time. A man who ran naked in front of almost 54,000 people attending a cricket match at Perth's new Optus Stadium has asked for help to pay his $5,000 fine, but still faces possible jail time for his crime. Ben Jenkins, 23. Gave security the slip to become the first person to streak at the stadium on Sunday when he ran onto the field during the 17th over of Australia's innings against England in a one-day international. In a huge embarrassment for the slow-reacting security staff, Mr Jenkins dodged them for a few minutes before he was finally tackled to the ground, then wrapped in a blanket and taken away. Many people in the crowd filmed the incident, with some cheering for Mr Jenkins and booing when he was led away, but others called him an idiot for disrupting the game. Police confirmed Mr Jenkins was arrested and issued with a move on notice. He will be summoned to appear in court at a later date on a charge of trespassing, which carries a maximum penalty of one year in prison and a $12,000 fine. Cricket Australia has also banned the 2D footballer from all matches for three years, saying it has a zero-tolerance policy. A GoFundMe page has so far raised more than $3,400 for Mr Jenkins, with some people labelling him a hero. Minoru Copley posted, even though my $5 won't buy you a drink, or a pie, or a seat, or anything at the stadium really, no you're legend. But not everyone was a fan of his antics. Case Bay I wrote, go fund yourself mate, you should have made sure you had enough money before you interrupted the game. Linda Say Inemio posted, I donated to a boy who broke his back playing sport. Never going to pay for your stupidity. Grow up and pay your own damn fine. Others saw the stunt as a good distraction from Australia's woeful performance. The Australian cricket team should donate, your run took their embarrassing performance out of the spotlight for a few minutes, Matthew Poole wrote.